passionate pleas from hundreds of Austin ISD families today as they posted letters at district headquarters. Their concern returning to campus next month. KXAN's Caitlin Carmoot explains. They could give a flying you know what about our health and our safety. The hundreds of Education Austin supporters are calling for AISD to extend their October 5th start to in-person learning even further. Most excited people on this planet to return to school will be the people in this caravan once the public health data say it is safe. That's our demand. This seventh grade teacher says that is until there's a decline in new cases for at least 14 consecutive days with a positivity rate less than 5% plus a transmission rate less than 1%. We are choosing people over profit. We are choosing ourselves over any kind of money or budget that the superintendent might think is a higher priority than our lives. They're also urging some district staff members like custodians and transportation workers to receive hero pay at the rate of two times base pay. The caravan of people came bearing letters and testimonies as to how COVID-19 has impacted them. My two students' father was diagnosed September 17th with COVID and he died a month ago. This was horrific. It tore the family apart. I have two children, one at the elementary level and one at the middle school level. Martha Small Dyes helped organize AISD Kids First. The group garnered hundreds of followers almost instantly. They're pushing for AISD to immediately implement in-person learning for both students and teachers. It's about having the option of getting back into the classroom with teachers teaching safely. She feels the October 5th date is the right move for several reasons. Getting essential workers back to working and maintaining students' mental health. I have no doubt that AISD and they're preparing for this school year um, is prepared for that. That's Caitlin Carmo, KXAN News. Well, the school district says it will move ahead with its plan despite mounting opposition. Now, this week it said that 780 employees have requested medical waivers to allow them to continue working from home during the COVID-19 pandemic.